and welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick tip. We just, I shall show you quickly how to do some panels in 3D on a column. So let's get started then. All right, let's uh, place a column first. Go to the column. I make it three meters high, 500 in diameter, that's fine. Put it on columns if I have, there we go. And we click, you can see up here in the middle. So let's just click that one here. All right, so I've got this column here. And the next step is I like to draw a wall, which I make a bit higher than the column. And this is the thickness of the panel, um, panel in between, you know, the, the gap, the gap of the panel. So I, I just want them smaller, 10, that's fine. And this one is the material which I use to create this wall, which you then can give to the panel sides. So I'll show you that in a moment. So, and this one I put on, let's just put it on banding. I can turn it off after, doesn't matter. All right, cool. So I like to draw this now. Important is in the middle, center. And let's draw that one and I just extend it a bit on the other side. All right, so what we got for now, there you go, I just extend it a bit longer than the column. Okay, and now to give you a couple of options, that's the cool thing, we just duplicate this one. Let's go over here and I rotate a copy of my wall. So we got those two, as you can see. And let's do one more, drag another copy, same distance, just for fun. And we will rotate this one and we distribute. Don't need an arc and, um, you know, before input, rotate to path is fine. And let's do three copies. So you click in the middle here, go up there and there we go. Should have only done two, so I can delete one of them, but that's fine, not a problem. And we select those two and we mirror a copy. Very easy. So you go here and you mirror a copy from the middle. Which way do we go? No, 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 no. Oops, I had it. There we go. You can rotate a copy too, but this, this is the way I like to do it. All right, great. So next bit is we take those and we drag a copy up. I need to select this and I want to make it smaller. If I want to go inside with my gap by 10 mil on either side, this has to be 480. Okay. There you go. So all of them are 480 now. Now, select again and we reshape. Go and explode. Yes. Okay, the reason is, actually, you know what? I don't need those ones anymore. Let's just delete those. They're useless now. All right, so if you take this and obviously you don't move the round fill, I'll show you what happens. So you drag. Let's go in the middle here and you go in the middle there, right? You see what I mean? So they're going inside now by 10. Can you see that? All right, that's exactly what I need. So let's go back and we create now our profiles. I love creating profiles. Let's start off with this one first. So you copy. And we open our profile manager, a new one, and we just call this a gap to columns. All right, great. And we paste this in here. All right, in the middle there, paste, perfect. Now this one, we don't need. And important is 
we want to give to the fill. We want to override the surface and I like to get this one. All right, let's just store the profit. And all important is I like to store this as a column. Store, okay, great. So that's the first one. So if I now go and column, we use now the custom column and this one, just to make sure we use this one and we put that on pending. There we go. So I put that in here and let's see what we got now. Oops, there you go. Uh -huh. Looking good. So obviously what you do is now, you will take those from solid element operation. Okay, target. This is the target. This is operator and we just do the normal subtraction. Now you can use old attributes or inherit from operator. Let's just inherit from operator. Execute. So what happens now, if I turn this off, there you go, so I got my first gap, which I can use sort of as a panel. And it's black now because it, it took it from there, okay? So to do the next one, it's very simple. Let's just copy that and gap columns and we just duplicate this. See, there's a one, edit, and we just paste that in. There you go. And again, very simple. I speed this up a bit for you. Okay, so what you can see, I did three now. So it is very simple. So all you do is now, you select this and you select this column, which will obviously use it, you know, used as a solid element operation. And because it's connected, what you do is you go in there and let's just do number one. There you go. So if I now, Hide this, right? There you go. We got four panels. All right. And obviously, again, you do it a lot. And we just change it to the third one I did. Okay, so we go there. And this one, okie dokie. And we. Hide it, there are we, hide it, there you go, and you can see now, these columns have lots, lots of panels. Alright, so this is, this is pretty cool, very nifty little way to get yourself some panels going on, on the column. If you need a tool, we can obviously do the same on the side, I mean horizontal. To do this is very simple, you go to object, let's just choose an object here from the basic shapes and I'll use the tube, which I rotate 90 because I want to stand it up. Um, tube length, see it again, that will be the gap. So let's make it as the other ones, 10. There we go, you can see already what I'm doing. This one will change to that one. And we gotta make sure the two brightness I got 500, it's just divided by two, it's 250. So I needed 480, 240. There you go, so 240. All right, let's see, put that also on the banding, and let's see what we got. So I click this out here. I think this should work fine. Let's go in there, and we have a quick look. All right, see, I made a thinking mistake here. So this one, seems to be 480 that way. So obviously we have to go and add another 20. Let's see what it does. Yeah, that's perfect, there you go. It's a bit hard to see. Again, you just have to 
2D representation, background pen, I want nothing there. Let's see how that looks, yeah, perfect. So if I go into 3D, this should look actually okay. Where's our, okay, working elevation, there you go. So if I take this now and I do turn it off, I can still see this, okay. So very simple now, that's up to us what we do, but let's just go one, two, three, four. Yeah, four will do. So you go and you drag this and we want to distribute four. Okay, so we go from there to there. Okay, looking good. Let's go into 3D and same as before, you just hide this layer and here all I wanted to do is we um, take that all solid element operation, get rid of that bond so we only really have those circles which are the operator element and I like my column column as target, sorry there. And again, subtraction, inherit from operator, execute. And now if you turn this one off, the layer, there you go. Okay, now you got a lot of panels here. How good is that? All right, one more time. If I go back here and I will change this over because I think there's a bit too many. Let's just go there. I think that will look much nicer. Hide layer and you obviously hide this layer too. So I think this column looks very nice. Four panels around. Awesome. All right. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip tutorial and we'll see you back next time. Bye for now.